Anime is now one of the most popular genres of movie, and lots of new anime movies are released every year all over the world. Luckily, there are a lot of really great anime movies out there to get started with. Let's have a look into the top 10 Japanese anime. Number 1. Spirited Away, a visual masterpiece about a scared little girl's breathtaking journey of self-discovery. Miyazaki's films never stop at their brilliant surfaces. Spirited Away is a fairy tale in the classic tradition, a growing up fantasy riding the rapids of the subconscious. Ten-year-old Chihiro and her parents stumble upon a seemingly abandoned amusement park. After her mother and father are turned into giant pigs, Chihiro meets the mysterious Haku, who explains that the park is a resort for supernatural beings who need a break from their time spent in the earthly realm, and that she must work there to free herself and her parents. The film is fast and funny, it's weird and wonderful. Probably like nothing you've ever seen before. It won the Golden Bear and Academy Award for Best Animated Feature at the 75th Academy Awards, making it the first hand-drawn and non-English language animated film to win that award. Spirited Away is a complete reversal of the Hollywood way with animation. Number 2. Your Name. The animated Japanese feature, Your Name, has overtaken, Spirited Away, as the highest grossing anime film ever. The film is about this highly relatable sense of looking for something, someone, someplace. And so much more. It's a beautiful, captivating piece of work that gets off to kind of a rocky start but achieves remarkable momentum toward an emotional, powerful ending. And you won't see a better looking animated film all year. Your Name, starts with a premise that is familiar from other supernatural comedies, two Japanese teens, country girl Mitsuha and Tokyo boy Taki, find themselves repeatedly switching bodies in their dreams, leading to some predictably silly comedy regarding body parts, as well as the expected love story. The film's crisp and clean visuals are genuinely lovely. What a soundtrack featuring cheesy, power rock ballads often overwhelms the pretty visuals. Your Name, is still highly watchable, even when this mystical young adult love story cloys, or confounds. Number 3. Howl's Moving Castle. This film follows Sophie, a hat maker that lacks confidence, who meets a charming and mysterious wizard named Howl. Howl had saved Sophie from being harassed by two of the town guards. The witch, who wishes to literally steal Howl's heart, witnesses this encounter and turns Sophie into an old woman out of spite. Sophie set off to the countryside to try and break the enchantment but ends up finding Howell's castle. Howell's moving castle sums up many of the elements that the Japanese filmmaker loves. The extreme fantasy, the magic that penetrate reality, the shapes of the imaginary creatures, or even buildings that overcome the wildest creativity. But one thing that distinguishes Miyazaki's castle from the other films is the strong educational component of the story. Overall, I found the movie to be super enjoyable. It had messages and themes that were super relatable. The animation was brilliant. There's a lot of attention to detail in every single scene whether it be the use of color or the depth of the transformation sequences. Number 4. The Girl Who Leapt Through Time, is a dazzling and engaging take on both the coming-of-age story and the time travel story. One aspect of storytelling where Japanese animation excels is character development. In this movie, viewers are treated to the normal, everyday life of a high school senior on the brink of entering adulthood. A seemingly typical teenager, Mikoto, discovers she can leap through time and alter the course of events in her life. And the lives of those around her in ways, both large and small. As she begins to understand the effects this, time leaping, has on her friends, Mikoto must learn to be honest with her feelings as she struggles to make to make things right. Time travel is a popular plot of anime these days, but it was new and unique when the anime was released, which is partly because it is top-rated by anime fans. The characters are entirely credible and likable, the simply drawn figures highly effective against the lush background artwork. If I had to give it a rating, it'd be an 8 out of 10 simply because the ending redeems the whole film. Number 5. Paprika. Mere words can't describe this masterpiece. This movie blew my mind when I first watched it. It's a journey through the conscious and subconscious, through dreams and reality that are colliding, overriding and merging as one. Paprika is a movie that uses dream logic to tell a story about dreams. The story is really fast-paced and doesn't even give you time to take a breath. The movie goes from the introduction to DC Mini and its mind-blowing capabilities. It is about a doctor who enters patients' dreams to help solve their problems, but it's far deeper and more confusing than that to help you make sense out of it. 
This movie has influenced many films of the sci-fi, psychological genre and it is a must-watch for all anime fans. Dot. Paprika is undoubtedly one of the best anime movies around in this genre. It has the full package, ingenious theme, mystery plot, funny moments, mind-blowing, psychedelic scenery. Every character has their own unique aspects, intense moments, deep conversations, and more. Number 6. The Wind Rises. The film is, variously, a romance, a film about aeronautical engineering, a study of militarism, a chronicle of illness and natural disaster, and a very poetic meditation on the nature of creativity. It is a breathtaking dream of flying crafted with hand-drawn attentive to detail a rich treat for the eye and soul alike. Inspired by the life of Second World War Zero fighter plane designer Jiro Horikoshian. In The Wind Rises, we are given a portrait of a bespectacled thinker and dreamer, a boy obsessed with the inner workings of machines, and the way things are put together, a boy who looks around him, and understands that what he fantasizes about can become a reality. The same could be said for Miyazaki, and in a way, The Wind Rises, is his most personal film. Friendship sprouts from disaster and love can be seen to end in tears. Yet, throughout, the film never tries to irreparably upset its audience. It's balanced, and it flows perfectly. But politically controversial or otherwise, its essential viewing that's at its core is powerfully beautiful, and beautifully powerful. Number 7. Princess Mononoke. It's a great film. It tells an epic story set in medieval Japan, at the dawn of the Iron Age, when some men still lived in harmony with nature and others were trying to tame and defeat it. It is not a simplistic tale of good and evil, but the story of how humans, forest animals and nature gods all fight for their share of the new emerging order. It revolves around the character Ashitaka, who was initially the heir to the throne in his town, but was banished when a demonic boar bites his arm and infects him. As a result, he goes on a journey to find a cure, but instead comes upon a town. It is one of the most visually inventive films I have ever seen. There are also brief, mysterious appearances of the spirit of the forest, who by day seems to be a noble beast, and at night a glowing light. Princess Mononoke is a film that feels ahead of its time when watched in the context of today's climate. Although there are some flaws in the character development of the film, it inspires the viewers thinking about the role of humans in connection to nature. Number 8. Weathering with You. The visual realism in anime feature film is nothing short of stunning. It's a movie about a magical girl who creates sunshine by praying. The film takes place in a Japan beset by near-endless rain. Under a perpetually gray sky, Weathering With You follows Hodaka, a teenage boy who leaves home for Tokyo with no real plan other than getting away and trying to make it on his own. He keeps crossing paths with Hina, a girl who we learn has the power to summon sunshine with a prayer. Weathering With You is clearly channeling anxieties about climate change, keeps the image metaphorical and spiritual rather than digging into the real-world causes. The environment is out of balance in Weathering With You, and while it threatens Tokyo with grey, miserable days and eventually with storms and flooding, it threatens Hodaka and Hina in a much more personal way. This is the kind of film where viewers can let themselves flow with the film's emotion, or entirely ignore the action, and just get lost in the beauty of imagination. Number 9. The Disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya. The film's plot goes through SOS Brigade Chief Haruhi Suzumiya announces that they are going to hold a Christmas party. Kayan, awakens one day to find that many of his friends at school no longer seem to know him, and what's even more shocking, no one seems to have heard of Haruhi. The disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya tells that a good science fiction isn't just about putting people in outrageous situations, it's about how they cope with the situations, what they learn about themselves and others in the process, and whether they grow from the experience. There's a bit of shocking violence toward the end, but otherwise nothing objectionable, moreover the artwork is absolutely breathtaking at times and the animation is so fluid yet subtle that it adds life to the characters and world. Number 10. Akira, the film is much more than attractive visuals, sci-fi concepts, and rousing motorbike action. The film opens when a teen biker gang called the Capsules, engages another group called the Clowns, and during the road bra. Akira begins in 1988 with a shocking image. A massive, seemingly atomic explosion erupts in downtown Tokyo and ignites world war. After the war is over, a top-secret government experiments have resulted in strange, warped children with incredible powers. Akira is also a thrilling sci-fi adventure that keeps you on the edge of your seat the entire time. It rarely slows down, and when it does, it's so viewers can finally catch a breath from the constant action and consider what's going on in Tokyo. While the action scenes make the movie enjoyable. Thank you for watching.